Hey guys, Lift Master Door Guy. Uh, we're back in my room today. We're looking at my overhead door, 10x7. Um, this is going to be showing the Rainer Pilot, which, as you can see, this is a belt dryer. Uh, what I did was I converted my 1260L on back to a chain, and this is the 1265LM, uh, or this is, this is actually the 1265RGD, uh, and I've converted this over to a belt drive. Uh, this would come with the 973RGD, this is a 971LM. Uh, unfortunately, I did not get the original remotes that came with this. Um, quick update here on my wall button. As you can see, i got these LEDs now that I'm powering off of the transformer that powers this 355LM. And then also, I have this little counter here. And this was just one of those things that I decided, oh, I thought it would be cool to do. Um, and every time you hit the button, that will register another count. And I got it used, and so it wasn't already at zero. Um, but that's pretty cool. I hit it real fast. The door doesn't usually go up, but we'll do it all over again. So I'll show you the counter here first. You can see that it registers. Time. All right. And here we go, running the Rainer Pilot 1265 RGD that has been converted to a belt. Actually, it's pretty quiet. Yep, we'll run it down. It's quieter going down. Get it back to the motor head. And there you have it. 1265 RGD, belt drive. Check back soon for more videos. I have a huge update coming up for you. Um, oh, what the heck, I'll tell you what's going on. Uh, so I sold my um, 3800 jack shaft on eBay. Um, and I also traded in my Rainer Control Hoist Basic. Two jack shaft operators. And I am going to be getting a 14 by 7. Actually, it's a 14 1 by 7. Rainer door. And I'm going to be putting that in here as the final door that will be going in here. Um, and I, the reason I got rid of the jack shaft openers was because once that door is in, there's going to be as much side room as there is over here. And you can see there's not enough side room to use any jack shaft operator. So that all added up to enough to get a door and then some. So it didn't really cost me anything. I'm getting it brand new. I am keeping my white nylon rollers though because I forgot to order the door with uh, nylon rollers. So it'll be coming with steel rollers, which I'm not going to be using. And then also, I'm going to be redoing my top brackets. I'm not going to be using quick closers. Uh, I'm going to be using just a top fixture mounted onto a hinge. And uh, I'll tell you a little bit more about that once I get it all done. Uh, but this is the last video that will be done with this door. Um, so check back soon in a week or so and subscribe to the channel.